Hello everyone, what is up? It is Brooke Tomo here and today I'm doing a video on pros and cons about owning a Border Collie. <laughs> Let's do it. I was inspired by this video here who explains the pros and cons about owning a dash hound and I just thought it was a great video and very informative so I thought I'd make one about a border collie. Alright guys so I'm gonna start off with the cons of owning a border collie and the reason for that is if you watch this video I'd rather you know the cons about getting this type of breed rather than get sucked into her cute little face and in my opinion I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons but there are some cons <laughs> that you need to be aware of before you get this breed huh? Can you settle? Okay, so the first con that I have is they need to be kept entertained 24-7. Now, by the word entertained, I just mean they're a working breed. So Cedar in particular, like already now, I can tell she's bored. The only reason she's sitting still with me right now is because I have food here and it's actually lunchtime. So they always need mental stimulation to keep them from developing undesirable behaviors like digging, chewing, which is very, very common with this breed. What are you looking at? And what goes hand in hand with that con as well is that they have so much energy. Now this can be both a good thing and a bad thing. A bad thing if you can't manage it and a bad thing if you don't have enough time on your hands to manage it correctly. Cedar needs to be walked at least once a day and you can definitely tell the difference as to when she is walked and when she isn't because when she's not, she just has so much less patience. She gets way too excited for even the littlest of things. You're just crazy when you're not walked, huh? Yes, keeping them entertained 24-7 is and can be particularly hard, especially if you don't have time. I'm very lucky with what I do because I'm actually home pretty much every single day with her so I can manage her behavior and make sure that it is going towards positive things like mental stimulation. So we have a lot of Kongs, we have a lot of toys that she needs to work to get food out of, which she absolutely adores. And we have a lot of toys. We have her Frisbee, which she loves. Hello, darling. She loves to play frisbee. She loves to play in general, just anything. We play hide and seek, we play frisbee, we play fetch. So that is a con, is that they do need to be kept entertained 24 seven. And if she's not, she is a digger, like she will go outside and dig a hole. And that's just because they need a job. They just need something to do. That's what, that's in their nature. That's how they've been bred to be. And that's just a part of being a Border Collie owner is that you need to be aware that you do need to keep them mentally stimulated like a lot of the time, unless they're sleeping basically. Another con is that they shed a lot. You and Vicky? Yeah, another con is that they actually shed so much, so much. And I actually just groomed Cedar before and I kept the hair so I can show you. So this amount of hair just here, yes, this amount, is from one 10 minute grooming session. And I did the same thing two days ago and I got the same amount of hair off her. And just always, like I wear a lot of black clothes and she's just always got her white fluff all over me. Don't you? And if they're not groomed very often, their fur can get matted and really, really gross. And it actually can hurt them if it pulls and mats in sensitive places. Yes, they do shed a lot. Another con is that they are a naturally anxious breed. So if you don't socialize a border collie young, and if you don't socialize a border collie enough, and if you don't socialize a border collie well, they will have behavioral issues. This breed can tend to be quite a reactive breed, and that's just because they are so anxious naturally. I've been very lucky to to know the importance of socialization just from the puppy school that I go to. You know, I've been very, very on to Cedar since day one about, I pretty much take her out of the house every single day, unless it's raining. But even then she'll come in the car with me and go get a coffee or something. And that has just helped her in leaps and bounds. Not that she was ever bad. She used to be really, really scared of dogs barking. The way we overcame that is we would go on walks every single day past houses that I knew had a barking dog and we would sit there and we would just, you know, reward her being calm when that did happen 
happen and I worked on that so much and now she's overcome it she's great it doesn't bother her same with waves at the beach she did not like it I made sure that I was a responsible dog owner and we overcame that fear in a positive way so now she absolutely loves going to the beach so there is a critical socialization window if you didn't know with dogs in general and that can close anywhere between 12 and 16 weeks it's absolutely crazy so yeah I've been lucky to know the importance of socialization and with Sita she has no dramas at all she's not scared of anything she doesn't react to anything she's not anxious at all and that just comes down to the fact that we have worked really really hard to get her there and I've been super super aware of getting her out and about and getting her to positively experience a lot of different things so although it is a con a pro can definitely be everything with a border collie can be overcome if you do it correctly but you have to know that it is an issue before you do get the breed because if you don't have the time that I've had things can definitely go in a much worse direction my sister is actually a vet nurse and I asked her was there anything in particular that border collies experience in a negative medical aspect and she said yes she asked her vet and they have ivermectin sensitivity i think i got that right i'll spell it here ivermectin is stuff that they use to kill off parasites in dogs so border collies can be born with a sensitivity to that and that obviously doesn't help when they're trying to fight a parasite or something and also i know cedar doesn't have it and i actually had border collies growing up as well and they never had it but they can be prone to epilepsy as well so that's something that you should be aware of before you get a border collie puppy. So another con is that they do have a natural herding instinct. Now this can be a con because if it's not managed correctly when they're young, it can lead to nipping. So if you have small kids, if you have guinea pigs, I know back when I had border collies growing up, there was one border collie in particular was obsessed with the guinea pig cage and she would sit there all day long and she'd just try and herd it through the cage, which can be quite stressful for animals as well. So if you do have, say, birds or anything stuck in a cage or even cats, I know that a lot of border collies, they do have the natural instinct to herd those animals and not like Cedar does get, get it actually with birds on walks. She won't ever herd a bird, but if she sees one, she gets that natural herding instinct. You know, she'll crouch down and just start to crawl towards it, which is kind of a good thing rather than her reacting and just running straight for it and wanting to kill it. She does want to herd it, so she'll slowly go up to it, but it is very hard for her to break that habit as well. So now another con is that border collies can be sensitive to loud noises or even just noises afar. Cedar's not too bad. I have noticed that there was fireworks that went off at our place one time and she was, you know, very aware of it. She could hear it, but I was with her at the time, so I was able to help her overcome that. Not that it was a fear at the time, but she was definitely aware of it. And I think if I wasn't there to help manage it and make it a positive thing, then she probably would become afraid of it. Okay, so now that that's all the cons out of the way, let's head on to the good stuff, which is all the pros of owning this beautiful breed, the Border Collie. So one, I have, they are intelligent now, guys. I've owned so many dogs in my lifetime. There was one time there where we had five this breed is so smart cedar is only five months old but she has learned so many tricks let's show them a couple Cedar, settle yes speak yes uh so intelligent definitely 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 a pro of owning this breed they are so smart sometimes they're smarter than humans which can be a good thing and a bad thing which leads me into the second one which is easy to train oh 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 Black Border Collies can almost understand English. She is so smart, she is so easy to train, she focuses so well. Third point is that they're loyal. So <laughs> there was a time where Jack and I both went into the ocean and Cedar could not concentrate on anything else other than staring at us, waiting to make sure that we were okay and that we were gonna come out alive. She uh, ignored all the dogs walking past, all the balls being thrown, all the people walking past, and all the people tanning, all the seagulls flying past, she ignored everything and only concentrated on us to make sure that we were okay the whole time. It's actually so cute and so sweet to watch. So loyal for sure, they're definitely loyal to their owners. Another pro is that they are very protective of their owners. Cedar would make a really great guard dog, even though she's been taught from a puppy not to bark. She could definitely, I reckon, she could definitely sense when I was uncomfortable or if someone was in the house that I didn't want to be there. And I know that she would protect me for sure. Hey, would you protect me? Another point is that they inspire you to exercise. So because they are so high energy and they do require exercise, getting a border collie will make you walk every single day <laughs> or run every single day. And I think that's a great thing. I think it helps you keep active. So Cedar definitely inspires me to get out of the house, go for a walk, go to the beach, 
which I think is a great thing in this day and age when it's so easy to just sit at home and either like binge on YouTube, spend hours on Instagram on your phone. I think it's a great thing that the border collie requires exercise and that makes you get out of the house and actually do something. Okay, so this is a point that can either go as a pro or con. I decided to make it a pro because if it's trained correctly, it can actually be a really great thing. And that is that border collies have OCD tendencies. And because they are working dogs, you know, when they have a job, they stick to it. They're very, very focused and they can be very, very focused on one thing for a long period of time. This to me is a good thing because Cedar loves her Frisbee. So she's almost like a bit OCD with the Frisbee. If we take her to the beach, it's so easy to keep her entertained and to keep her focused on us because she's so OCD about, you know, retrieving the Frisbee for us. She knows that that's her job and she enjoys it. So. It can, be, it can work really, really well. So in our case, the OCD tendencies of a Border Collie work great, but it also can go in a con way if it's not managed when they're young, they can be OCD over, say, a cat. And they will just, all they want to do all day long is just stare at the cat and that can make the cat's life very stressful. So yeah, it can either be a pro or con, the OCD tendencies thing, but if trained correctly, which every dog should have the correct training, if you're going to get a puppy, guys, it's so important that you invest in their training when they're young. So I put it as a pro because I think it's important to train your dogs when they're young. If it is trained correctly, then it works in your favor. Another pro is that they're easy to toilet train. Oh my gosh, coming from an Italian Greyhound to a Border Collie, she was a breeze to toilet train. She just grasped onto the concept really quick and I have heard a few different Border Collie owners comment on how quick and easy it is to toilet train at Border Collie, so that was great. The one thing that I will say about her in particular is that she didn't like getting her feet wet. She's a bit of a princess like that, but she was only born in May this year, so from May up until now, when she's five months old now, she hadn't really experienced wet grass. Um, we haven't really had any rain or a storm, so she'll get over it, she'll be fine, but she's a bit of a princess at the moment, I think. And last but not least, the last pro of owning a Border Collie is that they are so fun. So Border Collies obviously have a lot of energy and they do require a lot of attention and patience, but they're so fun. Because they're so high energy, they just wanna play all the time, don't you see? They either wanna play, they wanna learn, they wanna work, they wanna run. And that's fun, you know? It's fun if you have the time and the patience. But not everyone's as lucky when they own a dog to stay at home all day with them. So I think, in my opinion, it's so fun and they're super loving. They are fun, they just wanna play. They could play all day long at the beach. They love going outdoors. And I feel like they always are wanting to do something. So not only do you keep them entertained, but they can keep you entertained as well. Alrighty guys, so that actually wraps up the video for pros and cons about owning a Border Collie. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are a Border Collie owner, please post below with any other pros or cons that you have experienced with the breed so that we can make a little thread there for any other new Border Collie owners that they can read through the comments and look at other pros and cons as well. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Turn it up.